Hayes and Claire, thank you both so much for struggling up the stairs with this absolutely magnificent bowl. Before I go into rapture over it, um, can you tell me how you both came by it? Well, Father died recently. Uh, this was left in his house, basically. He had it on display, and he's got four daughters. Ah. And we have to divide it up. We can't really chop it into four. Well, no. So I think it's going to be sold. Sold and the money divided. I think mm, that's very yeah. sensible. But is it something that your father inherited through the family, or did he buy it? Or? Well, when we were young, we always had holidays in Cornwall, a village called Goran Haven. And my father used to go around the little antique shops and he, he picked it up there. I mean, many years ago. I thought you were going to tell me he was the sort of captain of a ship that <laughs> stopped, stopped off in Hong Kong and loaded it with cargo. I've been musing over it. We've got this hexagonal bowl chased and cast in a pipe with this very bold dragon. And it's supported, not with feet, but normally but these little cast devils, yeah. or oni. And I think that very much makes it, together with its double-walled construction, um, a Japanese bowl rather than a Chinese bowl. Oh, I understand it was Chinese. Well, if we turn it over, we've got Lady's Purse, yeah. Spring Meeting, 1895, and then we've got a six-character signature on a seal on the base. And often, if this were Chinese, you'd expect it to have a standard mark of 90 stamped onto it. Uh, I mean, it's difficult to tell sometimes because they use the same motifs, which are dragons. Dragons are the most popular. Um, we've only got one dragon running around, uh, and sadly, one of the little devils, one little only, has lost a foot. Uh, but basically, it's in very good condition. I think I pretty much know what it's worth today. We'll put a broad estimate on it, because it's a very broad collecting base. And we want to interest people, but we don't want to give it away or anything. So we'll put one to two thousand pounds on it. And we'll put a fixed result of a thousand pounds on it if that's. Well, we're looking at one thousand five hundred for a reserve price. You want to fifteen hundred. I I can understand why. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and I can go along with that completely. So fifteen hundred. Yeah. And you know, we'll put fifteen hundred to two and a half thousand pounds on it. Very good, that would be very nice. Because uh, I think your father had an exceptionally good arm for these things uh, at a time when they were completely out of fashion. Yeah. But the one thing that this screams is quality. Good. It's been absolutely wonderful to see it today, and I very much look forward to seeing what it makes at the auction. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Pleasure. Okay. Well, what a marvellous day we have all had here at Haddon Hall. Everybody thoroughly enjoyed themselves and we found some fantastic items worthy of our historical setting. But right now, it's time to put those final three choices up for auction. Will our experts be on the money? We're just about to find out. And the final beauty is the silver bowl. But will the increase in the reserve hold it back? Well, you'll have to stay with us to find out. We're back in the auction room in the Peak District, ready to put our next set of valuations to the test. Next, Michael's exciting find, the splendid silver bomb. Hazel and Claire, you've made the front page news. Well, you have on the catalogue, look at that. And I know the two other sisters are here today, aren't they? Let's give them a wave. Well, there they are over there. Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, 65th birthday today. Oh, wow, wow. Whatever you do, don't go away. Keep watching this. Here we go, it's going under the hammer now. The Japanese. Silver Dragon Ball and loads of interest. Trading at 1,500, 1,626, uh, 1,516 in the room first. Coming in, 16 in the room, I'll come to the phone. 16, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 2000. 19, 2000 now. A 1,009, 2000 bit. 2000 on the phone, 2 1 on the internet. 2 2. Two, three, four, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, seven, two, eight, and the internet's back as well. Two, eight, two, nine, three thousand, three, one, three, two. This is incredible. This is gorgeous. Three, one. Add the TV at three thousand one. Three, two, so in the room. Three, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six. 
seven, three eight. So eight thousand seven, three eight. Three thousand seven, three eight. Do I see it? Three seven. Uh, three thousand seven. Phones out, rooms out, internet's out. All short. Yes, three thousand seven hundred pounds. I told you it was going to be a big surprise, and we delivered. How'd you feel? Excellent. Over the moon. What a lot of money. What a surprise. That is what auctions are all about. Come on in, sisters. Come on in. Look, not one, not two, not three, but four sisters. Well, that's a nice family reunion, isn't it? Well, and well, 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 what a way to end the show here at the Peak District in Derbyshire. If you've got something like that, we want to see you. But until the next time, it's goodbye. <laughs> Once again, prizes open the Antiques Roadshow Trade.